I'm Brooke Jansen, and I'm from Halderman and Richmond Center. I have always felt very strongly about animal rights and cruelty to animals, which is why I decided to do my speech on animal testing. More than majority of the public doesn't understand how truly bad animal testing is because of these companies like L'Oreal, Pantene, CoverGirls, Pampers, Tide, and as you can see, so many more, lie to the public and try to cover it up to make animal testing seem so much better than it truly is. Which is why I think it's important to get all the facts out there so we can really understand what goes on in these laboratories and why I think animal testing should be banned. What is animal testing? An animal test is any scientific experiment or test in which a live animal is forced to undergo something that is likely to cause them pain, suffering, distress, or lasting harm. An animal experiment is not the same as taking your companion animal to the vet. Animals used in laboratories are deliberately harmed, not for their own good, and are usually killed at the end of the experiment. Although they are not required by law, several tests are commonly performed that expose mice, rats, rabbits, guinea pigs, and many more animals to cosmetic ingredients. Most animal tests include skin and eye irritation tests, where chemicals are rubbed onto shaved skin or dripped into the eyes of a restrained rabbit without any pain relief. Each year, more than 100 million animals, including mice, rats, frogs, dogs, cats, rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, monkeys, fish, bird, and birds are killed in U.S. laboratories for biology lessons, medical training, curiosity-driven experiments, and chemical drug and food tests. In these laboratories, they are injecting or force-feeding animals with potentially harmful substances, exposing animals to radiation, surgically removing animals' organs or tissue to deliberately cause damage, forcing animals to inhale toxic gases, subjecting animals to frightening situations to cause anxiety and depression, which is why I think that animal testing should be banned for good, because these laboratories are no place for any animal. These living beings are forced to live in cages, denied complete freedom of movement and control over their own lives. Some animals in laboratories are confined on their own without a companionship of others, which I think is cruel. There are many more alternatives, though, of which are way more effective than animal testing. For example, in vitro testing, which include many different types of tests. Some labs also use synthetic human skin or chemical testing which have a much higher percent of success for the same purpose. Also, animal tests have actually endangered the life of humans because the results from animal research can't be applied to humans. This is because animals and humans are so different. Less than 2% of diseases in humans appear in animals. There are many ways you can help stop animal testing and help the hundreds of animals being killed each day, though, by signing a petition at change.org or donating to websites like PETA or Mercy for Animals. You can also watch what you buy to make sure that the product you are buying has one of these three symbols on it. Boom. And so some cruelty-free products are Bath and Body Works, Pacifica, Kiss My Face, and as you can see, so many more. So in conclusion, we have learned that animal testing is inhumane, and now that there are alternatives to this, there's no reason for anyone to still commit this act. So today I ask you, why are we still testing on animals? I suggest that we fully ban animal testing so our world can have a better and safer place for both human and animals. Thank you.